Somizu wrote in his book that he was diagnosed with a terminal disease in 1999 that he had the capacity to take his life within six months and is incurable. He says he won't name the illness for personal reasons. Sumizi apparently debated whether it was worth seeking treatment and living with the chronic illness. The 44-year-old maintains that he has never felt the need to tell people what his ailment actually is. I haven't had the courage or the need to say which one it is between cancer, HIV and diabetes. He was apparently told he had only a month to live, but God had other plans for him more than six years ago. Somizi explained that by cultivating a positive mindset, he was able to rise above his affliction despite numerous days when it all felt like too much. He also reveals how difficult his life became after he was falsely accused of sexually assaulting a man and needed to go on antidepressants to deal with the stress. His cars were repossessed, his mortgage was in arrears, and he was completely broke after jobs in the entertainment industry apparently dried up. The only sustainable solution for his life, he says, had been to stop drinking and having casual sex and turning to prayer and spiritual enlightenment. He also credits Rema Bible Church and friends there for giving him peace. Despite how surprising it may seem, Somizi maintains he's never taken drugs. Despite how surprising it may seem, Somizi maintains he's never taken drugs despite having notoriously drug-troubled friend Brenda Farsi, who died of an overdose, often offering him narcotics. Mandoza and Briggs allegedly also did cocaine in his presence.